you guys asked for it, we're finally doing it. I know it's taking a long time, I'm sorry, but today we're making slutty, slutty brownies. We are making slutty, what? The last time I made these was at the end of my, my cut, which was part of like my, my cheat weekend. It kind of turned into three months and we're not going to talk about that. But today we're finally making these. It's super simple, super sexy, super slut. <laughs> super slutty. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a vest, it's because it's slutty brownies, guys. I don't feel good every time I say that word. What the hell? Basically what a slutty brownie is, is just a bottom half of cookie dough with a bunch of stuff on top. The top half is brownie mix with a bunch of stuff on top of that. If I can make this, you can make it. For the actual brownie part, I'm just gonna use a ready-made brownie mix. Guys, this isn't gonna be healthy. We all know that. If you have a problem with it, if you'd love to say how unhealthy this is, that's fine. And all I do is swap out the eggs because we know how bad the egg industry is. If you don't, I'll leave a link in the description. We're gonna swap out the milk. We know how bad the dairy industry is. If you don't, Again, I'll leave a link in the description. And we're not baby cows. The cookie dough on the other hand, that we're making from scratch. It's exciting. Let's get slutty. Guys, to make this simpler, I'm just gonna stick up the ingredients for the brownie over here and for the cookie dough over here. And then you can pause and get what you need. Okay, so the first thing to do for our cookie dough is add in the coconut oil which I've already melted in the microwave. We're gonna add in our two sugars. We're gonna add in, I've used soy milk, two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Oh, shit. Why do I always mess? Mix it up. Mm. This already just smells good. Guys, you can probably use other types of oil as well if you wanted. Once you've mixed everything together and it looks good, we're gonna add in the rest of the dry ingredients. I'm just doing a half a teaspoon of salt here. One teaspoon of the baking powder. And the one teaspoon of the baking soda. Pa! Start adding the flour. Things are gonna get tough now, guys. You gotta put a little muscle behind it. Just before the flour is all mixed in, I'm actually gonna add the chocolate chips. You can add as many chocolate chips as you want. I like a lot of them. And now, as you can see, my friends, we're starting to get a dough. But right now, we're gonna stick it into the baking tray. Put my wax paper in. And now, spoon your, your dough into the pan. Oh, beautiful. Guys, the way this stuff smells is something else. Oh shit, I forgot to say, I usually make this in two trays. So you're actually gonna wanna half this. Whoops. Don't be afraid to get your fingers dirty. It's just an excuse to lick them anyway. You actually just wanna do this with the spoon just to make it all nice and level so that it fills up to the corners of your, your baking tray. Now we get to the fun part where we're gonna stick some Oreos on top. Everyone knows that the golden Oreos are the best flavor. If you disagree, you're a liar. <laughs> what does that look like? God, you're childish. You're just gonna wanna fill up the pan or the baking tray as best you can. Oh, that one has a fluff on it. And now we're gonna take the chocolate and grate it over the top, just so it's a surprise when you bite through the middle. Spread that around a bit. That is beautiful me again. Now that we're done with the cookie dough, let's move on to the brownie. It's following instructions on the back of the box. How hard can that be? Now my brownie calls for having two extra large eggs, which means I'm just going to use some flax meal that I made. So I took some flax seeds and I ground them up. I'm going to take two and a half teaspoons for every egg and then mix it with water. So it just becomes like gelatin almost in a way. Remember, egg's just a binding agent. It's not actually used in baking for flavor or anything like that. And for all you guys out there who want to be exact, it's going to be one tablespoon of flax seeds 
to three tablespoons of water. So a one to three ratio. And then of course you also just want to chill the mixture for a little bit before just so it becomes like almost jellyish. Okay. Okay. So we got you closer now, just so you can see everything. I'm going to flatten these Oreos just a little bit, just because we've got to pour quite a lot of this, this batter, whatever you want to call it onto the top. We only want to do about three quarters of it. I don't think we're going to use all of it because it's going to come over the, the baking tray. <laughs> if you have one of these, it makes life much easier. Stay down. And that, my friends, is perfect. Look. What you actually want to do is, is pour the, the, the mix so that it covers the top of all the Oreos and stuff. As you can see, mine is not perfect. Just how I like my women. I mean, brownies. We're going to shove this in the oven for as long as it says on the box. Mine says 35 minutes, so that's what we're going to do. Goodbye, my love. Soon 35 minutes. So my, my little makeshift cookie actually turned out amazing. Look at it. This is amazing. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. What's up, girl? Do you want to see when your brownie is ready? You're going to stick a toothpick in it. You're gonna pull it out, and if it comes out, and there's like brownie and stuff sticking to it, it's not ready. As you can see, the brownie is not ready. Why am I on the floor? Ta-da! Oh, look how the cookie dough actually came out on the corners there. We have one thing left to do. Put some chocolate spread on the top. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna do this while it's warm so it's easy to spread? It's gonna melt nicely, and then we're gonna cut it up. Hey, no fight in here. Oh, look at that, it just melts straight away. Oh, baby. We're gonna put like two dollops on top. Guys, you can put whatever you want on top. Chocolate syrup, cookies. I'm gonna serve mine with ice cream, but I actually prefer my brownies cold, so I'm gonna let this melt on top. I'm gonna spread it, then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge for a while so it can cool off. <gasps> wow, I almost dropped it. <laughs> and that's it, guys. The next thing you're gonna see, is it ready for serving? I'm out of focus. That's how you make slutty brownies. Enjoy it. If you decide to make one, let me know. Send it to me on Instagram, tag me. I wanna see what you can come up with. I think there's endless possibilities of what you can make with these, these brownies. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more of these videos, let me know. Subscribe. If you have subscribed, hit the notification bell so you get sent a, a notification when I do upload a new video. Be healthy <laughs> and be nice to people. Bye. Mm. Mm.